Hey everybody, in this short, uh, I'd like to um, share some process. This is a commercial that I'm currently working on, and the idea was uh, to spread um, the chocolate onto the ice cream uh, horse. Um, so the main goal is to spread chocolate very uh, smoothly and uh, it should have a, 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 a bump uh, uh, like a wave just uh, moving uh, forward and um, uh, the spreading should be quite smooth as you see so um, uh, the way I um, uh, I did it uh, I used uh, mainly uh, the tool ramp, uh, the noise ramp that the tool that I've created, which uh, really helped me a lot into uh, solving this problem. Um, and of course, um, you could use some um, solver uh, technique to uh, simulate uh, this uh, uh, growing uh, effect, but uh, uh, the simulations are may may take um, time um, and uh, especially when you have to uh, fix a certain uh, uh, certain places uh, or parameters it it may take uh, quite a long time um, so uh, without any simulation I've used uh, uh, this noise ramp which I also have updated um, a small fix which uh, whereas before uh, you could use just um, here I have uh, my geometry here uh, like before you could use uh, by um, by sorting uh, ramps um, in different directions we're using point numbers or uh, using uh, texture UVs uh, create custom UVs if needed if, if there's no um, uh, if there's no um, already UVs uh, on the geometry uh, another method that I uh, added is uh, to use a proximity point, uh, which is quite handy. So if we uh, check the proximity by point, we can just select the point, and here's our ramp. Um, for example, I can. Okay, so if I just make it a little contrast. And then so this way I, I I'm, I'm working uh, with with this uh, noise ramp tool. Um, so uh, speaking about the, the progress itself, so uh, I have an animated horse and I need to uh, create a effect of a chocolate spreading uh, starting from the back of the horse uh, and moving slowly um, toward the head so what I did I uh, I uh, stopped the animation at frame at starting frame and I made the uh, manipulations and uh, I uh, actually uh, made my uh, uh, spreading effect while while in a freeze mode, and then uh, I smoothed the effect so I could have uh, some um, smooth edges, and then I used a point deform to uh, to deform those uh, uh, spreading effect. And then uh, I use the uh, um, grouping node uh, 
by checking un unshared edges and this way I could select those edges and um, blast the rest of the geometry and give it uh, a red color so I could use it uh, to affect uh, those uh, uh, edges la later. Uh, here I have uh, the, the rest of the chocolate so uh, here I'm affecting the sides yeah and um, I'm removing those uh, points um, and then uh, I'm smoothing the rest of the geometry and I'm here I also have a uh, uh, frozen geometry but uh, I'm scattering a lot of points and uh, uh, this group uh, not necessary um, just while testing they're left here so here I'm using uh, attribute interpolate to uh, uh, make those points stick onto the moving geometry without flickering and next uh, I'm giving a black color to all the points and then I'm transferring uh, all the green points here you see And later on top of, on top of it, I'm spreading uh, those uh, red points. Then I uh, separate them, all those green points, and I'll do uh, a VDB from particles, some adjustments, smoothing. Uh, here I'm uh, uh, separating those red particles and also uh, by using the normals of the horse geometry I'm pushing them away uh, just to uh, create an illusion of a bump and here's a, here's the result then I mix them both and Yeah, so here's the result. After I merge them together and uh, um, and and I'm ready to show it to a client for uh, for, for some comments or uh, hopefully uh, for improvement. And here's the result. So as you see, uh, it's it's very simple, without any uh, uh, long time simulations. Always quite nice uh, detailing um, that you can achieve with um, simply using some um, tools. Well, that's all that I want to say in this short. I hope you liked it and it was useful. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, I'll see you in the next lessons. Goodbye.